be sure to check out my Patreon for weekly exclusive interviews, extra content on VV and Omi, and building generational wealth, as well as money management tips from experienced whales. Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video. In this one, we're going to be checking out something interesting from VV Fox. She's going to be actually going through how to store your um, Omi tokens. Now, um, one of the biggest questions that I get asked about is how do I safely store my Omi tokens? What do you like to use? Where do you where do you keep your Omi and things like that? So, if you do want to know what I personally have, it's it's this right here, the ledger. You'll be able to find the link down below in the description. You'll be able to read up on a couple of different kinds, a couple of different options down there. Um, be sure to check it out. Do your research on it, just like anything. Um, but yeah, that that's the one that I use. Um, down down below, I have that um, link down below, as well as some other stuff, like some nice crypto books, NFT books and stuff. I haven't updated it in a while, but the, the ledger is up to date. So um, yeah, that being said, uh, if you are interested in using this to really secure your NFTs or your your um your crypto and not having it on a centralized exchange, like with Celsius happening right now and all types of stuff going on, there's a lot of fear in, in keeping your things on exchanges right now, because of, obviously for good reason. So yeah, I mean, that that's an option. Uh, um, so yeah, that being said, y'all, we're going to jump into this video. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and be sure to subscribe to Vivi Fox. Show her some love. She always does amazing videos, man. So let's jump into it and see what's happening here. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, so Bitcoin is heading on its way to 20K. And um, yeah, the whole crypto market is kind of going crazy, very unstable. Um, we are entering a phase that is very unpredictable, at least for me. And it's also the first bear market that I'm, I'm going through. And we see a lot of stuff happening, such as what happened a few weeks ago with Terra Luna. Now the last thing was uh, Celsius. So networks and platforms that, that start to struggle. Yeah, and so we have a lot of people warning about it on Twitter. Um, just recently, Chris Coffey, is another of our OMI OGs, tweeted this that he is. And just a quick update, I wanted to check real quick. Bitcoin is now at twenty thousand three hundred, so it looks like it's heading down. Hopefully, we break through. I'm I'm ready for this to break through because what you got to understand is people are keeping it above twenty k right now. But the quicker it breaks down, the quicker it's over with, and the market crashes, the quicker we can start going back in the opposite direction. So everybody wants so hard for this to be the end of things. It just does not make sense for it to actually be the end of things. Um, so I, I think that things are definitely going to get worse. And the quicker, like as soon as you rip the bandaid off, the quicker we could actually start going back up towards the bull market. Um, but I mean, people want to keep delaying the inevitable. And we're going down. Like that, that, That's what it is, um, in my opinion. But anyways. He's going to pull off his OMI from the exchanges. A lot of other people I talk to, they are... Uh kind of thinking about putting their omis out of, of exchanges and putting it into a safer place. Check this uh, thread out. It, he goes into it uh, why why it's not safe. He also made a video about the Celsius uh, situation and what that means. But basically it all comes down to it's uh, not your not your keys, not your crypto, not your keys, not your coins, because those exchanges, they have actually custody over your coins. And when they enter into any kind of issues, uh, bankruptcy, liquidity issues, then they can basically freeze the accounts, they can restrict withdrawals and um, and yeah, I, I, that's just not a situation that I want to get involved with. Also yeah, it's a tough time right now. It's a tough time because because of the recession, the state of the world, the crypto market being down, like pe companies are having to let people go. Like if, if Coinbase isn't exempt, then you know no one else is. If Coinbase is having to make some rash decisions and, and make some harsh decisions, you know anything else is going to be impacted. So you gotta you you do want to be careful at a time like this. You probably wouldn't want to be holding it on exchanges. I never hold mine on exchanges at all. Like that's never gonna happen. But yeah, like just you know, just just to keep it in mind. Um be sure to like trust wallet. Trust wallet is a free option. Um, or like if you want something even more, even more protected, get you a ledger um down below in the comments. I mean, it's up to you, man. It's a lot of it's, it's, it's your assets. However, you feel that they're going to be protected. That's what you got to do for it. Although it seems for for now that at least the Sandex, uh, they said they are not involved with uh, Celsius. They assured that um, they are not running into any issues soon. But the state of the market being as it is, a couple of weeks ago it was Terra Luna. Now it's Celsius, and we don't know. In a couple of weeks, it can be another protocol that might be related to a Sandex, and then you never know. And I will say this, like I just a warning. Like I said, I have been I've heard multiple different times it's going down to between twelve thousand to fifteen thousand. That's what Bitcoin is going down. 
If Bitcoin goes down that far, everything else is going to tank that far. And when everything else starts tanking, we could see a lot of other projects having to lay people off, having to to take people's crypto to pay debts and things like that. Like we could see a lot of stuff going on, man. So, I mean, holding stuff on exchanges at a time like this isn't something that I personally be doing. Just saying. No. And for me, it is always like uh, one of my principles in investing is I just want to sleep well at night and don't worry about my investments. That's why I don't uh, over leverage. I don't invest what I cannot afford to lose. And that's why I decided to put my OMI into my ledger, into cold storage for now. And while I'm at it, and um, because it was also the first time that I ever used my ledger, uh, I thought, okay, why not share with you guys how to do it? It's actually quite easy. I, I thought it would be more complicated, but um, yeah, just let's go into it. So if you do own a ledger, you will just go to the normal process of installing this kind of ledger live application. I'm now in the desktop application, but there's also a mobile application you can use. And yeah, one thing I had to do is to uh, update to the new firmware. That was the first thing, but it's all straightforward. So you just have to update it. And then the first thing that I had to do was install like my Ethereum wallet. Uh, just check here if you have to install it or if it's already installed. And yeah, once you have your Ethereum app installed, then you need to create an account. So you can go here at Ethereum account. I already created mine. So it was also just a really simple step. You just have to kind of enter your password a thousand times and then you create your Ethereum wallet. And I already made like one test transaction, which worked uh, out fine. And the nice thing is that, yeah, with the latest update, OMI, the OMI token is already visible in the in this app. Um, this hasn't been the case for like a couple of months. So you had to kind of connect your MetaMask and all that to see, to actually see your OMI uh, tokens. And that's, I guess, why I haven't done it until now. But now it's very easy because the OMI is already showing in the Ledger Lies app. And so that's, it's actually really easy to, to send your OMIs here. So I have already added my OMI token to here. But then if you click on your account, on your ETH account, what you can do is, um, I'm going to move myself out of the way, is to click here on add token. And then you search, uh, you have to um, check that your Ethereum account is selected here. And then you can search for the OMI token. And then you can add it here. And once you have added it, if you click on it, then you can go to receive. And then the next step is that it will actually show your your address here. Uh, now I have to kind of enter my PIN. Uh, then you confirm on your ledger. And the next thing, your wallet will be shown. Uh, you can also scan like the QR code. Then on your ledger, it will show verify address. Then you make sure that the address that you see on your ledger is matches the address that you get here. If that's the case, and you copy the address. And then what you have to go uh, to do is go to your exchange. I have most of my OMI on Ascendix, but it's still staked. And just to give you a head up, heads up, if you want to withdraw your OMI that is currently staked, there's a withdrawal period or, or unstaking period of seven days, or you have to kind of pay a fee. So yeah, that kind of sucks because I wanted to withdraw my OMI now or unstake my OMI now, but now I have to wait seven days for yeah, I mean, I'm not going to tell anybody what to do with their OMI or anything like that. But <clears throat> personally, even if I could stake, if there was some exchange, something I could stake on, I wouldn't be staking right now. Um, the, the market, like we're going to be seeing a crash. Like if, if things go as predicted, we're going to see a crash worse than anything we've ever seen in crypto history. Like um, anything um, that that's what a lot of the crypto experts are saying. So. Um, and then I, I'm, I'm having I'm talking to friends and stuff like that who does this for a living. And they're saying, yo, like th this could really happen. This is this is going to go this low. And they, they've been predicting it for months. So when you got a lot of people telling you the same numbers and it's all super, super low, it's like uh, they, they, keep, they all keep coming to this conclusion for a reason. It's probably it's probably going to be risky, especially if companies are going to be firing people. Companies going to be getting knocked out of existence. You got to think back to the dot com bubble. How many companies actually stopped existing after that big bubble so you don't know which exchanges is going to be around and make it out of the other side of this so don't i wouldn't take a chance personally for it uh because i don't don't want to pay the fee uh yeah that's just that you know if you really uh, if you're thinking about unstaking your omi then uh yeah it will take seven days 
to do so. But I still had some OMI left on my OKEX account. So I will withdraw the OMI from here. So the next step is um, if, you're, if you're in your exchange, go to wherever it says withdraw. Then you select your OMI. I think there's, I think on Bitforex, you still have the Go OMI chain. So make sure that you select the one that says ERC20. Then here you enter the address where you want to withdraw to. So I already did the test withdrawal, so that my address is saved here. But otherwise, uh, just uh, copy the address or use the QR code if you're on a mobile device and enter it here and make sure that it really matches. And then I want to withdraw all of it. So max, yeah, just double check everything because now I'm sending over all of it. Yeah, and then the typical, you have to get like all your confirmation codes and once this is done, you just click on confirm. And then you get the withdrawal request submitted. Then you click on OK. And the next thing, you just wait until the withdrawal is complete. It actually just took a couple of minutes. And as you see, the funds have already arrived. So yeah, now, as you can see, all my OMI is on the ledger. So as you saw, it was actually quite easy and uh, only a couple of steps. And yeah, that's all I wanted to share today, I guess. Maybe on another note, uh, for all of you that use the uh, BVX tracker, I recently made some additions. So basically in this chart, I now added, I highlighted the days where we had a drop day. And then here below, you can see which drop actually happened on which date. So basically if you want to remember, okay, here we had the spike, so which drop was that? If you click here, then you see which drops happened, happened on, on, on this day. That's fire. Yeah, as you see, I, I, I keep working on it. I keep improving. I have still a lot of ideas um, that I want to add here. So stay tuned. If you want to stay up to date, then subscribe to my channel uh, or follow me on Twitter, where I will also post uh, any updates. And yeah, that's all from me for today. Um, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and see you soon. Yeah, definitely subscribe to her channel, man. Like, as you can see, she does amazing work. She's given a lot of game, a lot of information, and she's building tools to help you, I mean, pretty much keep track of everything and make better financial decisions. So um, definitely show her some love, man. Like, but yeah, hopefully this video helps. Like, I know this is very detailed. She actually goes over everything as far as getting getting your OMI tokens onto the exchange. So that, I mean, off of the exchange onto the ledger. So that's fire, man. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, man. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out, fam.